uh, for being with us today. I know it has been a long one. Uh, just so that we're clear and to stage my next line of questioning, in December 2019, we've established that the FBI subpoenaed Hunter Biden's laptop from a computer store owner. And then we've established that nearly a year later, in October 2020, the Hunter Biden laptop story is published by the New York Post. Within hours, Twitter and other social media co companies began limiting the distribution of the Hunter Biden story. My question is uh, for Mr. Roth. In September 2020, a few weeks before the New York Post published the first story on the Hunter Biden trading on his name, you participated in an exercise hosted by the Aspen Institute with other media outlets, social media companies, and national security reporters. Isn't that correct? Yes, I did. And Mr. Roth, that event was hosted specifically by the Aspen Digital Hack and Dump Working Group. Is that correct? I know it was hosted by the Aspen Institute. I couldn't say who specifically within that. Mr. Roth, this event was before the release of the Hunter Biden laptop story, correct? That's my recollection, yes. And during that event, a scenario that was discussed was a hypothetical October 2020 release of records related to Hunter Biden. Is that correct? Again, that's my recollection of the event, yes. And Mr. Roth, did you participate in the design of this hypothetical scenario? Not to the best of my recollection, no. Are you telling me that you never had any conversation with anyone regarding the contents of this scenario? No, sir, I didn't say that. I met with the Aspen Institute on a number of occasions. I wouldn't say that I was involved in the development of the scenario in a specific way, no. So you're, 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 you're telling me that I will find no witnesses that would testify they had conversation with you regarding the development of this scenario? I genuinely could not say what other witnesses might or might not say. Why was Hunter Biden chosen as the subject of this scenario just weeks before the October 14th, 2020 publication of the first Hunter Biden story? I don't know. But you participated in the conversation? I was invited to and joined an event hosted by the Aspen Institute, yes. And so surely there had to be some level of conversation as to why Hunter Biden was the topic in that uh, scenario. Not that I can specifically recall. Mr. Roth, representatives from Facebook attended this event also, correct? To the best of my recollection, yes. And Mr. Roth, the FBI had Hunter Biden's laptop nearly a year before it was uncovered by the New York Post and before the Aspen Institute event. Did members of the U.S. intelligence community participate in the September 2020 Hunter Biden uh, hack and dump exercise? I don't recall. Mr. Roth, I'd like to point you to a sworn statement that you previously made. I believe this was to the uh, the FEC, you've given a sworn declaration stating that federal law enforcement agencies communicated that they expected hack and leak operations by state actors might occur in the period shortly before the 2020 presidential election, likely in October. Is this your statement? Yes, it was. And Mr. Roth, you said since 2008 and 18, you had been meeting with the office of the director of National Intelligence, the Department of Homeland Security, the FBI, and industry peers regarding election security, correct? Yes, sir. And Mr. Roth, you were told there would likely be a hack and leak operation occurring in October, is that correct? 
I believe the FBI has objected to the word likely or expected, but we certainly discussed that possibility with them. All right. Thank you. Mr. Chair, I yield back.